So I've been thinking about doing this for a while and transitioning into doing like uploading the vlog the next morning instead of trying to get it up at night mostly because I haven't been sleeping well and I've been up really late but I think I was kind of thinking about maybe like telling you guys that in today's vlog and then uploading tomorrow's vlog the next morning instead of that night but I am finishing up a bunch of homework I've got a bunch of online homework that I've got to do tonight and it's looking a little bit overwhelming so I'm thinking that you guys probably won't have gotten a vlog last night but this will go up tomorrow morning and I'll just get this edited and uploaded before I leave for school so I apologize for the sudden confusion and switching but it's something that's been on my mind for a while and with with the amount of homework that I've got tonight it's gonna have to happen that way but thanks for understanding hopefully and I love you guys and good night you guys may have noticed that like in the title bar I usually have like some sort of fun title but then also the day and like the whatever the date is and then like day whatever and so I you probably if you pay attention will notice that I jumped from like yesterday was probably like 56 and today is 59 well that's because it seemed off like it seemed like I've been vlogging for longer and so I went through and I counted and I counted day 29 twice and I counted day 56 twice Oops. So <laughs> now I'm like, I'm a day, like honestly a day 59, which I was like, yeah, I, I even went through and did like a little like calculating because I'm like, that seems off. Maybe my counting's off? Nope. Nope. It's supposed to be 59, which means that by the time you see this vlog, it'll be 60 days of vlogging. That's essentially two months worth of vlogging. I think tomorrow's date is the 27th and I started on the 29th so it's a little bit off because July and August both have 31 days but like that's pretty darn close to two months which is incredible for me I can't believe I'm like two months down and like vlogging has gotten so much easier and if you'll notice like the past couple of days have been longer which I really enjoy because I feel like short vlogs aren't even worth watching because you're like, oh, here's a summary of what I did in my day. Like, that's not vlogging. That's just telling people what you did. But it's it's getting a lot better. And I think, like, yesterday's vlog was, like, eight minutes and something seconds. And the day before that, I think, was only, like, five. But they're getting longer. And I think part of that is just because I'm doing more things with my life. And I'm actually having a lot more fun with editing. Today, I didn't, or, well, for yesterday's vlog, I didn't put in any, like, fun little, like, watch me say things over and over again or make a cute face again. Because I really didn't do much of that. I'm kind of surprised with because a few days before that were like crazy amounts of cute faces and and funny sounds but <laughs> we'll see but I am really starting to enjoy this this is becoming really fun oh I just pulled the bandaid off my arm and you can see like the little wow that looks really red um the little smiley face he's actually not red he's like faded blue pink but that little red dot yeah that's that's where I got my blood drawn and it's actually a lot bigger I'm trying to get good lighting on this but it's actually a lot bigger than it was last time. And I think that's just because they missed. But, oh yeah, that looks darker. That looks more normal. But yeah, it's a giant dot. But I think that's just because they missed and they had to kind of wiggle it around. But it does make me a little bit squeamish that it's so big. Guys, I'm sorry. I don't think I vlogged like a single thing today. Today just kind of disappeared from me. It's like, I think five-ish, six-ish. Midnight again, which is so frustrating when I have to. 
to get up for school and then I like my alarm goes off I don't even want to get up and I'm hoping that maybe if I can start going to bed earlier that I can get up and maybe go to the gym maybe I don't know I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with that but yeah tomorrow one of my I had an appointment that got canceled sort of it got moved to Saturday which makes our Saturday a little bit crazier but it makes tomorrow a little less stressful so I have an hour and I think I might go get some things at Walmart, Target, I'm not sure where because I need belts because <laughs> my pants are falling off. But <laughs> that's been today. It's been crazy and just disappeared on me. Which I feel like that happens way too much. Guys, guess what I just did? Hint, I've only been talking about it forever for like the last couple weeks. I went on a run. It was not as long as I had originally planned. I only did like a little over a mile because my hip started bothering me. Not my knee, my hip. But also it was a lot harder and it took me a lot longer than I expected it to. I think mostly because I haven't really done any cardio since like getting hit by a car a little over a month ago. So yeah, it's been kind of intense but I'm so happy that I did it and I'm like sweaty and gross right now but I feel so good. My lungs I don't know if maybe it's like a side effect from the asthma or like what, but when I run, my lungs feel like they're bleeding. <laughs> that sounds really gross, but like it just hurts and they're raw, which I hate in the moment when I'm running, then afterwards I just feel so clean. Like I feel like my lungs just got cleaned out because obviously when you're doing intense cardio, you're breathing a lot more, so you're clearing out your lungs a lot faster, at least that's what it feels like. Although. I tend to run past houses where people are sitting outside smoking and it's not the best air quality here in Salt Lake, but I just feel clean and happy, but I'm so excited that I got to run! Yay! Day one, done! Tomorrow I'm going to take a break because I don't want to start too intense for my body. So tomorrow is a rest day and then I get to run again on Friday! Oh my gosh, I feel so much less stressed right now. Like even just running a little over a mile, I'm like... Oh, versus like before I was kind of like oh my gosh how am I going to manage all of this and like new scheduling conflicts would come up and all sorts of craziness so I've been super stressed out which I think is probably what pushed me to like push myself to run today but I did it and I feel so happy oh my gosh yay I'm really glad I decided to wait until this morning to post it because I actually ended up going to bed at about 11 which isn't super late but I still had a ton of homework left um, I just knew I needed to go to bed or I'd be up all night and so I went and I slept for a little bit and I got up early this morning and I finished my homework um, except for like one assignment that I have to like ask other people so I'm waiting until it's more of a reasonable hour to call people <laughs> uh, so I'm doing that and then yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and edit the vlog and upload it now but thanks for being so understanding with this and even if you're not get used to it because this is how it's gonna happen <laughs> because this just makes my life a little bit easier